What's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to make some cool kind of fonts like this. They are really simple, but that's the point of the video is to make it easy for you. And it you can make some cool things out of it. So let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you should do too, is go up to File. New. And then this will pop up. Let me fix this real quick. Okay. Now you can put the name of the project and the dimensions. So for a thumbnail, 1280 by 720 are the dimensions. And let's just name it Photo P uh, font. And then once you have that, hit create and you should have a blank canvas so this is where you're going to be doing all your stuff we're going to start by going to the left side the toolbar and clicking the text button right here I forgot what it's called it's like something like that you just want to click it and you can see it's dark because it's highlighted which means whenever you click on here it's going to pop up with the text so it's probably going to be really small but mine is at 233 so if you want to change the size, you go to the drop arrow and you can use this little scroll thing, which makes it easier to just eye it. Or if you have specific, a specific size, you can type it in here, of course, like 105. So for the sake of the tutorial, let's type 120. That's a pretty decent size. And then once you've done that, go over to this little check mark and click it. Okay, so now click again and type whatever you want like you could type just i'm just going to type text and it should look like this so now what you want to do is you want to double click somewhere in the text to highlight it and you want to go up to this drop arrow right here this is where you can change the font and there's a ton of fonts so just find one that suits you and I'm going to find one I like and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just going to go with Commando right here. I'm gonna, and once you find the font you want, you just want to click it and it should apply to the font that you had highlighted or the text, I should say. Okay, now once you do that, go up here and click that check mark again. And there you go, it saved your changes. And say you want to move the text around, I should have said that earlier. You wanna to go to this little move tool right here at the top left, click that, and whatever layer is selected over here, it will move. So you make, it's laggy, but I don't know why. But yeah, that's all you gotta do. So now let's get into the fun part. So you go over here, click, double click the layer that you wanna change, which will be the font or the text, is what I mean. I keep, keep saying that, whatever. Double click on it, and this menu will pop up. I don't know what is going on, but my computer is not bad. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's just photo P. Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to go over to gradient overlay. We're going to click the box, check it. And then the color should be black and white. So I'm going to change that back because I messed with it. So it should look like this. Looks really bad but we're gonna fix it. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the gradient box and we're gonna click that. It's gonna pop up this little box with the color. So as you can see right here, the bottom is black. So this is the bottom and this is the top. So we're gonna change the bottom and the top. So we're gonna change the bottom by double clicking the box right here, going to red, and you can change all what I'm doing later, but this is just gonna show you how to do it. And once you got the color red, hit okay. Now you wanna go over to the white box, double click that, go over to orange and choose the top right by dragging to the top. Now it should look like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a drop shadow. So down here, there's a drop shadow button. You just want to click that. So this is all preference, but you can adjust the shadow the way you want it. We can go smaller size by just dragging this. So we can make it look more like just to give it an outline rather than like a glow. 
So kind of like this. Gives it some depth. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you can, of course, you can do other things with it, which I'll get to. But let's just say this is uh, it for the first one. Or, you know, we can do inner glow. And then you can change the inner glow to whatever color you want. I, I would just leave it. But, you know, you can do that if you want. I'll get to that later. Okay, so now you got this, hit OK. And now we're done. This is the first text. You can adjust all that, but this is just so you know later on how to do these things. So now we're going to right click on text and hit duplicate layer. And then once you do that, you can drag it with your moving tool wherever you want. And then double click on it again and you're back to the settings. So we're going to uncheck gradient uncheck drop shadow and instead we're gonna check color overlay and then click color overlay go to the color and you can choose whatever color you want we could do we'll do green and now you can go to stroke right here by checking the box and you can change the color right here by clicking that box to whatever color you want. We can do, what's a complementary color of green? What is it? Um, don't remember. It. Oh wait, isn't it red? It's red, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't look that good. Oh well, we'll do it. And you can change the size of it, so you can give it some like, I don't know why you would do that, but you can do that. Maybe really thick, like bubble letters, or you can go really thin where you can barely see it but I'm gonna change this to black or yeah black and then I'm going to change the size up so that's the kind of look you get with that we could do an inner glow of like a lighter green well, yeah let's do like that kind of green and then you can change the spread and size down here by dragging it up just a little bit until you can see a difference so you could see some kind of like depth in it with color darker and gets lighter so that's that's going to be that one for that so we're going to move this aside so it's pretty good you know starter stuff but you'll you'll get better the more you tweak stuff and it's not too difficult you just got to practice and then the last text we're going to do we're going to duplicate it again right clicking on it click duplicate move it down double click it over here and we have this up again uncheck stroke inner glow and color overlay so now we're stuck with black so we're going to we're gonna add a let's add an outer glow so click outer glow you can choose the color you want we'll go with we'll go with green yeah like it was and then down here, spread and size, you can tweak that the way you want to. And then go over to color overlay, check it again, and change the color to whatever color you think. Uh, you know, since it's almost Christmas time, let's just do red. And then you can go to stroke check that box make the size a little bit smaller go down to the color drag it up to white or let's see yeah let's just do white to separate it a little bit and then we could always go down to the glow and make it a little bit smaller or bigger let's make the spread bigger the size smaller There you go. It doesn't, obviously, it doesn't look great, you know, but this is just giving you an idea of some combinations you can do. Those are the primary ones I use. I don't really mess with satin, bevel, and emboss. I don't really mess with those, but if you guys want me to do a tutorial going over those, I can show you what they do and, like, maybe try to make something good out of them, but I haven't really messed with them too much, so you're going to have to let me know. Uh, but... Besides that, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just comment down below, and I'll help you. Uh, see you later.